some of the most fun that we have is that we get to play games all the time. I mean, our job is getting to have fun. Gaming, competition, friends coming together. Part of what we do here is host communities of people coming together to play friendly matches against one another. And I think that's really exciting. I'm uh, Alex Markley. I'm the chief engineer at Allied Esports International. We have multiple venues all across the world, uh, primarily based out of Las Vegas. Uh, we have offices in California, in Hamburg, Germany. We also have locations all across China. It's really kind of a, an exciting mix to be able to kind of oversee all the technology for all of this like really awesome and exciting like new esports. Here at the Las Vegas Arena, we have three different floors that house our audio equipment. So we have to span audio across all three floors of our venue. We utilize a bunch of different stage boxes through our different floors tied to a main core of our Lavo system. And that enables us to control everything from two separate services across our compound, one in the back in the production area and one in the front in the front of house area. In order to create a good sound, I think you need very powerful tools that are easy to use. We chose Lavo because the price point and the power point was correct. So the price point was set competitively to where we could afford it as a venue. And the power point enabled us to shift through multiple different floors in our venue using fiber, connecting into one core, and allowing us to control via a surface. So we had a lot of function and use out of something that we felt like was a really good investment. The mixing desk is really important in order to create efficiencies in our broadcast. So we have up to 12 different players competing at once in a broadcast scenario. So the mix engineer has to be able to work through multiple pages and have backup scenarios for every single pod that we have on stage in the event of failure during competitive gameplay. One of the biggest problems that we run into with esports is mixing player intercoms. This is actually like incredibly challenging and being able to have multiple different mix zones where players can hear both intercom and gameplay and they can independently control those items. Uh, that's a really big challenge that we have. So one of the things I do like the most is how we use uh, oxes and sums. This is how we control and actually shift a bunch of sound around our arena. So if we want different zones of action, specifically if we're mixing in the front of house, uh, if we're mixing in our back of house production area and inside of our arena, uh, using this summing is a really quick way for us to uh, route around to different feeds just by selecting and clicking on different features. Being able to move a bunch of signals around inside of our patch field here, our digital patch field. This is really exciting for us. Basically, anyone can really intuitively navigate through the signal functions, and so because we use this as our primary audio router, uh, it's really important for us to be able to navigate through that very effectively and efficiently. Having this specific bank of knobs, I can control and select anything, and it comes up into here. Select that PC, just start turning the game, and all of a sudden I have all my game displays. Same thing if I'm trying to EQ something, it brings up my EQ controls. Uh, so, so I intuitively just grab something and it pops up right in front of you. So that's pretty cool actually, I really do enjoy that. When we expand our facilities to like global operations, right, at some point we will need to have the ability to connect all of those locations together so that we can have one central point of control for multiple competitions at once. So like that's where I could see the power of IP coming in, honestly, and that's where I really think that could be a super strong point for us to continue driving down that line and investing in Lavos because that ability is there. If we need to remotely take a look at this console, I can log into this console from my home and mix it if I need to, or route signals if I need to. That's pretty cool. I think that's super exciting that when someone needs help, I can reach out and mix and or eventually someday hopefully grab resources and throw from one location to another location. So I would say uh, powerful with a good price point, easy to use, feature rich, and that's what I need. <laughs>